Within the liquid winds of California waters, a prolific ocean thrives. It's a world where forests of kelp create a sanctuary for an astonishing variety of life. A place where Garibaldi's add colorful contrast and sea lions fly overhead like aircraft. Those who explore the submerged realm discover a majestic hidden world. And as we shall see, a world far removed from the perspectives of those who live on the land. Hello, my name is Bill McDonald, and you've just tuned into Adventure, the series dedicated to discovery and storytelling about the world around us. Within the temperate waters that stretch along the California coast, there exists a diverse undersea world. We are going to share some of its unique places, along with a few of the creatures we have been fortunate enough to experience. From the largest of fish to the smallest of plankton, we are going to investigate how life in this ecosystem works. So join us for Secrets of California Waters. To early explorers and yarn spinners alike, a distant land called California represented a mythical paradise. Its legend was a magnet for dreamers, adventurers, and seekers of wealth. Yet during the European age of exploration, discovery, and map making, the Pacific coast of North America became the last frontier. In fact, throughout the 16th and 17th century, and well into the 18th, an extraordinary myth persisted. California was considered an island. These legends were in part fueled by myths of El Dorado and curious claims of voyagers like Cortez and Sir Francis Drake. It wasn't until 1747 when Spain's Ferdinand IV issued a royal decree declaring California is not an island. Just off the coast of Southern California, there is a chain of mostly uninhabited islands. These islands are so special that some have been designated a national park and marine sanctuary. Within the boundaries of this park is an astounding inventory of marine creatures. Foremost among these are marine mammals. Here, gray whales migrate to and from breeding and feeding grounds attracting an occasional pot of orcas. And dolphins seek out passing boats for what appears to be the joy of bow riding. These common dolphins come close enough for observers to marvel at their speed, beauty, and grace. In addition to the playful dolphins are sharks, mako, and blue sharks. Swimming with them in a pelagic or open water environment is possible with proper precautions. 
These blue sharks are found worldwide in virtually every temperate and subtropical sea. The blue is clearly the most abundant pelagic shark species in the waters of the Pacific coast. But what makes the blue shark so successful? Perhaps it's because females can produce as many as 135 pups per year. And unlike other sharks, blues have not been targeted by commercial fishing. However, blue sharks have been targeted by researchers working to perfect a liquid shark repellent. By creating a chum slick and attracting the sharks, one can swim with them. Without the bait, these sharks would avoid divers. Still, they are potentially dangerous and must be respected. The repelling material these researchers are using has been designed not to injure the shark, the environment, or the individual who is using it. The fluid, when applied properly to the gill area, acts like mace and robs the shark's gills of normal function. The shark then leaves the area to flush its gills and escape the danger. Rarely do these sharks return to chance another encounter. Still in its developmental stage, there is hope that soon there will be a means to protect divers, boaters, and most of all, survivors of air and sea disasters from shark attacks. One of the most secretive shark species is the basking shark. It is also the largest fish to inhabit the temperate waters off California. These harmless creatures are a rare sight, illustrating how concealing the ocean environment can be. Unlike their smaller cousins, these fish feed exclusively on zooplankton. To do this, they simply swim through the surface waters with their enormous mouths open wide, hence their name, basking sharks. These remarkable fish sometimes surface in Monterey Bay during winter months to bask, but like giant phantoms, can also disappear for decades to resurface at some later date, quite unexpectedly. Some researchers theorize that courtship is also a factor when they swim in close formation, cruising along with their mouths agape, sucking in untold tons of water to extract their minute delicacies. <laughs>